Hey, 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 and hey, hey, yet again. I'm Johnny Olive, and this is Harperland Exposed. Tonight, I'm going to address the frequently used argument. You can't complain if you didn't vote. If you didn't vote, must you really shut up? Let's find out. Of course, this episode is inspired by the recent US election. Donald Trump is now president-elect of the United States. To many, he was a monster. To almost as many, Hillary Clinton was just horrible. In the US, there are over 231 million eligible voters, but only about 134 million of them actually voted. Almost half the US electorate didn't vote at all. If we had the 19 million ineligible voters, that's about 46% of the population who didn't or couldn't vote. So should half the population of the US just keep their mouths closed for the next four years? What are the odds of that happening? Really? Really? What are the odds? In order to unpack this conundrum, we need to take it to an extreme. See how the argument fares under pressure. Think about this. You have a choice to vote for one of two horrific options. You can vote for a woman to be shot in the head, or you can vote for a man to be shot in the head. If you voted for the man to get shot, you can feel good that you saved the woman. You're a hero. But then again, you actually voted for a man to die. You're a villain. Really? And that goes the same if you vote the other way. You can't win. Of course, any sane person would refuse to vote in this scenario, because abstaining is the only responsible and ethical choice. How could you not abstain? So no, the argument and title of this video is wrong. If you did not vote, you can complain, you must complain. In fact, if you do abstain, you have a civic duty to complain. On the other hand, if you don't complain, you are ethically complicit in the results of the next election. You never know, next time it could be a lot worse. It could be your mother and father you have to choose from. But really, you should do far more than complain. You should act. Join a movement that looks out for your best interests and help in the cause. If you don't like the options open to you, start your own grassroots movement. It worked for Preston Manning's Reform Party here in Canada. They eventually became the Conservative Party of Canada. It took only 19 years to take over the establishment and rule for three f***ing terms. In less than two decades, Canada, the only official multicultural nation in the world, ended up with right-wing leaders who are cowardly racists, scared of women in hats. Watch out, Conservatives! She's wearing a hat! Run! Run! Run for your lives! Think about that. Multicultural racists. It's enough to make a Star Trek robot's head explode. Exactly. Think about what could be done if all the people who care about people, if all the people who care about the Earth and the environment worked together. How much more could they do in less than one generation? So get off your ass and do something about it. Oh yeah, you'd better complain. You really had. You really, really have to complain. Well, that's it for this week. Please click the subscribe button or click on this link in the video. Good night.